Hello everyone, and welcome to the Knights of Horror. I am Rob, and in preparation for opening day and opening weekend of Not Scary Farm, we are going to talk about a few things. Uh, we're going to talk about hype lists, we're going to talk about uh, zones and shows, and what I'm going to talk about right now is the game plan to get through the zones and get through the, the mazes. Um, no express just the game plan to get through it and uh get everything done there's gonna be some variations here so i'm gonna do my best i've tried these i've done these they've worked for me again um depending on what like what time you get there the day you go how early in the season how late in the season there's a lot of variations when it comes to not scary farm of how to get things done and i'm gonna try and help you in case you've never done it before or you you decide, hey, we're gonna do, do general this year and uh, and risk it, let's go. I, uh, we're gonna help you out here. So first of all, I highly recommend getting the pre-scare buffet. Um, not only do you get some food from, from Knott's Berry Farm and, and you know, it's a buffet, obviously, and you get a cool um, a drink that you get to refill throughout the night. So that definitely helps with the thirsting because you're gonna be walking a lot. So helps with the thirst uh keeps you hydrated now you can get water which i typically get a lot of water or you can get a soda the 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 boysenberry punch whatever your heart's desire is to get you can get it with that for that night so another another reason why i recommend getting the um the pre-scare buffet but also you get to you get to eat but then the 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 big deal i would say especially because with the pre scare buffet, they let you in the back part where uh, Ghost Rider is into those back four mazes at 6.30. So from my experience, I'm usually done with those uh, mazes back there by 7 o'clock, 6.50. Um, and that's an excellent thing because we have two new mazes back there, which are uh, the Widows and um, Eight Fingers Nine, the Boogeyman. So, you want to check those out. Also, back there is Waxworks, and it's its, it's, its last year, so you want to check that out. Show it, show it some respect before it goes on into the ether of Scary Farm lore. And then you also have uh, Bloodlines 1842, I believe. Yes. So you'll be able to hit those, and, and at the very least, between get done with those between uh, 650 and probably maybe like 710. You will miss, or you might possibly miss the opening ceremony. So if that's important to you, you know, again, that's why these are variations of things you can do to help you get through a not scary farm in one night. So again, we're not talking about the, the ceremony. This is straight up. You're just trying to get through the, the mazes and the zones. So you're going to hit those four uh mazes again if you have the pre-scare buffet if you're not gonna get the pre-scare buffet i highly again highly recommend just kind of waiting uh uh around that area for when they let people go to those new mazes in the back by uh by ghost rider you want to hit those first those can be very very um the crowd will be there so you want to try and be first now Another variation of that is you let the crowd go. Like you let the crowd go, let everyone do those new mazes because you know everyone's going over there. And you can be a risk taker, I've done it, it's worked, and start actually on the opposite side of the park over in Camp Snoopy and start with Chilling Chambers and actually work your way around the opposite way of the park. You will hit, I like to call it the crowd. You, you will hit the crowd eventually as you circle around because they're gonna go, for, if chill, if Chilling Chambers is over here and the new mazes, Eight Fingers Nine, Waxworks, Bloodline and, and Widows is over on this side, the way the park usually goes is everyone from there goes through Ghost Town and goes around and you know they go through Goring 20s and, and, and the Boardwalk and kind of Fiesta Village in that way. So you'll be coming around the other way, which is you'll be going through Fiesta, you know, go through camps, do Chilling Chambers, Go through Camp Snoopy, which is the gauntlet. Go through Fiesta Village and come that way. That That is a daring thing to do. But if you want to completely avoid the crowd that's going to go to those new mazes, it's a risk. I would take it. I don't think a lot of people 
people have gone through chilling chambers so not a lot of people are going to want to they know it's going to be there they know what it is so not a lot it's not going to be a, a again for those of us that go and we love the event we are we love that that maze but for people who maybe they're going one time those new mazes are priority so you can avoid that by going the other way so that's an option again very risk risky option but it is an option because because it could backfire and you could go when you circle around there could be a hell of a long line for widows and for uh, eight fingers nine but again that's the risky option i'm giving it to you so but let's go the flow of the crowd so we hit those new we hit those new mazes uh and and you know widows eight fingers nine waxworks and bloodlines we hit those mazes then we circle through come come back into the park we go to ghost town take our little walk through ghost town go up and then you're gonna hit um origins hit origins get in there see the green witch hang that witch hang that witch go through go through there it's gonna let you where it lets you out you can come back a little bit and you're gonna hit um grimoire go through grimoire uh you know at this point if you do it right you might stay a little bit ahead of the crowd it just th this is this is a i would say this is a tough one because you could hit the grimoire first before you hit origins because what people typically do is they see the line for grimoire and i mean not grimoire they see the line for origins and they just get in line right there because it's the next maze you could skip that line to origins and go to grimoire and then when it lets you out, go back in towards Origins and then go through Origins. And where Origins lets you out by Pony Express, you can just shoot on down to the Goring 20. So right there, again, there's variations. You kind of got to play it by ear and see like if the line for, for Origins is long, check the line for Grimoire. Because you really, you know, the walk from Origins to Grimoire is not that much. You're not going to... If people start getting in line, it's not going to pack on that much time to where you could be like, it, it might be worth it just to go check out Grimoire and maybe that line shorter, hit that and then come back and do Origins because the line might be a little shorter with that. Again, this is a lot like going through Not Scary Farm and, and, and getting everything done without Express is a science. I've done it. Tony's done it, Sammy's done it, Hayes has done it. We've all done it. We've all had different experiences. So it can be done. So when you get done with those two mazes, you're gonna head through past Pony Express, go through the Goring 20s. Well, actually, you know what? Let's not go through the Goring 20s. We're gonna stop before we get to the Goring 20s and we're gonna get in line and go in room 13. We're gonna hit room 13. They're gonna let us out. Now here's, we might need to backtrack a little to go through the scare zone of going 20 so if you want to hit that scare zone it's right there recommend doing it just circle back around a little bit uh watch well, you know you don't have to circle back around because it lets you out in the arcade so you're actually in the middle of the zone i'm sorry i apologize you're in the middle of the zone you can bask in the devil's elixir and the going 20s soak it in a little bit and then head down to boardwalk but before you get uh to boardwalk Take a little break right there you know kind of enjoy the view you got the fountain right there you know just enjoy what is not scary farm catch your breath always remember stay hydrated you always want to keep especially now it's been super hot stay hydrated drink some water you know that that would be perfect if you have you got the buffet and you got your little you got your souvenir cup fill it up with water hydrate yourself stay cool and then head through boardwalk and go through Carnival, those carnies will scare the crap out of you. Tell them the Knights of Horror and the Howling Hour sent you, and uh, they'll treat you well over there. As you go through Carnival, you're going to kind of go towards the left where the restrooms are, and you're going to get in line for Mesmer. Now, Mesmer's a, a, a you know the sideshow of the mind. Really love it. We're big fans of that here. And as you leave Mesmer, it's going to, here's here's kind of the, the little bit of an issue you're gonna run into. So as you go through Mesmer, it takes you past, um, it takes you into Fiesta Village actually, right before you get to Fiesta Village. So you have to kind of come back a little bit. You have to come back a little bit and then you're gonna go, 
back up towards like if you're going uh to the boardwalk but to your left you're gonna see cinema slasher next maze that's that you're gonna hit is cinema slasher get in line go through cinema slasher enjoy it it's gonna let you out right by the log ride here's what we have two options this is up to you completely up to you you can go to the left and go back out and go through fiesta village by by the supreme screenway or you can go to the right and go around the log ride go underneath the bridge and you will hit forsaken lake so this is this is a, a, an alternate route if you want to knock out forsaken lake and and the gauntlet because if you just make that left and go back through like the Su supreme screenway you're gonna hit the gauntlet but you're gonna have to circle back around to go through uh forsaken lake so this way if you go right go around the log right go underneath the bridge you will hit um forsaken lake and you will be able to hit the gauntlet so again priorities what's more important to you getting to the next uh maze or hitting the zones and then going to the next maze but for me i'd recommend going around the log ride going through forsaken lake going through a fiesta village and hitting the gauntlet on your way to chilling chambers and then your night is complete so but but if you decide to go through fiesta village the supreme scream route once you hit uh the you go through the gauntlet supreme and then go through chilling chambers once you come back out it's gonna let you out in camp snoopy you can come back out um like you're gonna leave camp snoopy except make that right before you actually past the the entrance for scam snoopy and you can go through forsaken lake that way again it's just your preference and how you want to get things done um again there's a few ways to do it i highly recommend kind of filling uh the 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 crowd which way the crowd is moving um i've done it a few ways uh, again you know there, there's there's alternate routes you can go the the reverse clock clockwise way which i was saying everyone is going to go to the new mazes by ghost rider so you're going to head to chilling chambers to just kind of work your way around the park counterclockwise and while everyone's doing it clockwise or you can do the new mazes uh with the crowd try and be one of the first ones that's if you want to maybe like see the scaremony and, and catch all that stuff um that'll work you could you know what you could even do is do the uh pre-scare buffet maybe just hit the new mazes and then come back out and see the see the ceremony and then go back and finish the other mazes that um uh waxworks and bloodlines because you know they're not those mazes aren't going to have a really high wait time because everyone's going to be in line for the new mazes so that's also another option um again with scary farm there's so many things that work and it, it just it's your game plan um be able to be able to kind of just um be able to switch up on the fly of what you think if you if you see maybe like this maze is really long but is it worth it or, you know like and then and then take into factor two or do you really want to go through bloodlines do you really want to go through origins like if you can cut out a maze that you just you're like ah, i've been through it like seven or eight times i don't need to go through it again it's also something to take into a factor but that is my game plan for you um whether you get the pre-scare buffet or not again i highly recommend it. it it is a little pricey um but again you get i'd say 15 bucks of that is the drink then you get your food and it gets you into the park a little early before anyone so you can hit those houses or those mazes before uh the initial general crowd comes in so um yeah that's it man so uh, you know hopefully this video helps you out um hopefully uh you know it, it it's a benefit to you um and let me know if you decide to to follow the these plans uh if you decide to take maybe one of the alternate routes i give like going clockwise in, or counterclockwise in the park let me know uh if you have some tips and tricks uh leave them in the comment section maybe something i didn't mention or forgot to mention uh and you've been going for a while and you you know this works for you leave it in the comment section it really helps i'm sure other people would would you know i i love hearing other people's uh advice on how to get through a park with just a general admission ticket because it gets expensive paying for front of the line so i will say that so if i someone can help me get through general admission 
uh really appreciate that so leave those in the comment section if you like this video hit that like button uh we really appreciate it oh here at the knights of horror all the support if you had not subscribed to the knights of horror consider subscribing it is spooky season it is haunt time and we are in full effect things are we're gonna have videos and we're gonna have we're going to events all over the place you're gonna want to stay in 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 connection with us when it comes to to spooky uh we're we're gonna have your fix we're gonna go to as many things as we can and have those videos for you so again want to say thank you to everyone for watching this video thank you for all the support from the knights of horror uh from you guys uh to the knights of horror really appreciate it uh again like this video hit that like button and uh spooky time is upon us um we will see you in the fog and uh remember stay spooky yeah dude i can't wait can't wait for scary farm a couple weeks couple of weeks all right let's go